everyone and welcome back to my channel and today I have positioned my camera in the right place so that you cannot see my makeshift tripod. You are currently balancing on a Dior candle, a Laura Mercier body cream and some Maximum Hold Silver Crin hairspray but you don't know about it because you can't see it. <laughs> My other tripod is positioned to the side where I'm going to be getting cutaways of the pieces that I'm going to show you in this. It's kind of like a haul, but more than anything, I'm going to be using a lot of items that are already in my wardrobe to style things up. As usual, don't feel pressured to buy anything from this haul. I'm just showing you some pieces that I'm loving and items that I want to wear this summer, basically, and also probably on my summer holiday. So there's some definite like holiday essential pieces in this. And I wanted to make this really, really informative so that you guys could see things styled up and looking exactly how I would wear them, but also get the most information with it. So I'm not gonna ramble on too much at the beginning. Everything will be linked in the description box down below. And if you are new here, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below because we're doing a lot more fashion focused stuff and especially focusing on styling. I will feature some new pieces, but I will also feature a lot of pieces from my wardrobe already. So wherever it's from, you will find it in the description box down below. Other than that, let's get into the video. I also just want to mention really quickly that I do have a discount code for Nasty Girl, which you can use to get 45% off everything excluding sale. And um, it is valid until July the 14th. So if you did want to pick up anything using my discount code, you can enter Lydia45 at checkout. I'll pop everything in the description box down below and maybe even on screen to make it super easy for you, but you will find everything down there. Now let's get into the video. So first up is this gorgeous, gorgeous white dress. I think that this so far is the hero of this particular like shopping spree because this just looks so expensive and it's so versatile in terms of wearing to the beach, wearing at home, you can style it with more like androgynous military boots but also wear it with espadrilles or sandals, you can imagine it with a really beautiful straw hat and I also really like the length of this. This is not a midi dress but it's also not particularly mini, like it's just above the knee so it makes it quite comfortable to wear but I think the hero is the back, like that back detail is so elegant and so flattering, I just love it. Obviously I am styling up in the cutaways to the side, so if you've already got a white dress or you want to buy this dress, you can style things up very similarly to how I do so here. But I am obsessed with this, I love, love, love it, it fits really nicely across the bust, I love the pin tuck detailing and it's got this really beautiful kind of like um, embroidered brodery fabric but not too much. I feel very covered, it's not see-through and it's got a really beautiful lining as well. Okay, this dress is giving me all the Jacquemus vibes but also it really reminds me of my dress that I just purchased from Faithful the brand. It's not exactly the same but it's just kind of a similar take. It's really flattering but also tucked and pleated on the bust. Then it's got spaghetti straps on this one whereas the other one has bows but the drama of this skirt is where it's really at. This has the drama of the Costarellos dress that I've got as well. I can never remember if it's Costarellos or Costarellos, but I think it's Costarellos. And it's kind of like a cotton poplin fabric. It reminds me of what a shirt would be made out of. So it's got this feminine edge, but also quite a structured, and it gives me like a high fashion feel, kind of like those items that you get from the high street that look more expensive than they are. And that for me is what I always look for. It's how you look for more elevated outfits rather than looking for something that looks slightly cheaper, if that makes sense. This has got great fabric weight and it just looks phenomenal. I love the drama in the skirt of this and I just think this could be styled up so many different ways. I love the idea of wearing this dress with flat sandals because then the dress goes completely to the floor and I don't know what it is about things that touch the floor but it makes me feel taller. So it means I can wear comfortable footwear and nobody will know. Um, but I just love the Jacquemus vibes of this and I think styling this is going to be so much fun so let me know what you think in the comments down below as I style it up in the cutaways and also the hat I love this this is such again a Jacquemus style hat but a style that's like really really elegant and I saw this on Nasty Gal and I could not resist this is just so beautiful and 
so effective. I'm literally just getting so excited for all of the summer vibes with these hats. And I thought, I don't want to spend too much money on hats that maybe I won't wear so much because this is quite a statement. I love that it can kind of be worn like on the slant like this, but I think from the back, it just looks so elegant, especially styled up with a really beautiful dress. I will obviously iron or steam these because ironing and steaming anything that's like creased instantly elevates it. That's always a little wardrobe hack that I have. But I couldn't not mention this hat because it is just glorious. So this skirt is exactly what I was looking for. I wanted something that was long and maxi that would go over my bikinis just super easy, especially bikinis like this one, which are really, really statement and like in your face and make the bikini top basically into a top so that I'm wearing a skirt, I'm nice and covered up and go and sit and have lunch, I can sit and have a drink, I can go into a shop or whatever and I've got my bikini bottoms underneath. So it's just less faff in terms of like holiday clothing, if that makes sense. But I wanted one that was just in that same similar kind of linen, cotton poplin that you just have no idea where it could be from but it still looks like really good quality and this is just the absolute dream. I love that it's got a elasticated waistband as well because for me that means that it sits really nicely but it's not too tight and it just works super well. It's high-waisted which was exactly what I wanted. I didn't want it too low-waisted. This is absolutely perfect but if I do want to wear it out on an evening as well I can obviously wear a really beautiful shirt which is going to look super chic and also maybe a crop top of some sort. So I'm going to style it up different ways in the cutaways to the side. You have to let me know which one was your favourite, how you would wear it and how you would style it up as well. So I hope that you love this one as much as I do. I feel like I've really, really hit it out of the park with this and I'm so, so happy. Okay, this is something a little bit different. This is a sheared, is it sheared or sheared? two piece. Now I would say that I think that this could probably be a little bit more supportive, like it's quite loose so I'm not really feeling like I'm held in but that can easily be combated with a nice pair of like support pants or something like that that can make me feel that way um, and then I just pop this over the top. I love the top, I think the top is so cute, it's got like little lemons on it which I think is a nice pop of colour. I know that I tend to stick to a very similar neutral colour palette but I've gone for little pops of colour with this as well. So there's little bits of yellow. I'm going to pop some more like corally accessories with it. And this skirt as well would be really great for just pulling on over a bikini if you're by the pool or at the beach or something like that. Or even if you're just sunbathing in your garden. Like, to be honest, that's just as lovely. But I just thought that this was super cute and really nice and flattering as well. I like how high this area of the top is as well. So it's not too low. It gives me all of the like Misa and love shack fancy kind of vibes and it's just really cute like these little ruffles so cute as well as the maxi white skirt i wanted some really cute little mini skirts as well that could just be thrown on and styled up again i love throwing something on and just styling it up apparently but this as well can be easily styled with a linen shirt i love the like scallop detailing to the edge of the skirt i also like that it's got this really kind of seamless waistband so that it just Compliments the little crop top that I've popped with it really well. I think that these are great again for just throwing on with a bikini top if you've got a statement bikini top or a swimsuit, like a one shoulder swimsuit. This would look so nice over the top. Little pops of colour as well. You don't always have to go for white, which is what I go for. I just feel so pure when I wear white. But this was just something that I thought would be so useful, whether I'm wearing a crop top, whether I'm wearing a bikini top, just really easy but comfortable wearing that looks good. And I've styled it up with some new castanio wedges that I've got, which are like a tan colour. I feel like they kind of make it look like I'm not wearing any shoes because they blend with the colour of my legs. But I thought that these would be a really great holiday option with a little bit of a heel, just like a different one from my Aran sandals and also my Legend sandals, which would go with my Birkin really well. So I thought this was just a really nice classic way to style up a white skirt. And this is another plain white skirt. And you're probably thinking, Lydia, do you not have enough? You wait until you see basically what I live in on my holiday because this is basically my, my happy place. It's beautiful white skirts, white tops, 
and then more deep, rich accessories, and this is perfect. It's very plain, so it's understated, and it teams really well with a comfortable bardo top. This, for me, is like my happy place in summer. My arms are free, I'm not gonna get hot, and it just works really, really well for me. I would probably accessorize this with my Aran sandals because now that I've got them to fit, I wear them all the time, it's ridiculous. And they look so cute, like there's nothing more like elongating and flattering than an Aran sandal like with a short skirt, it just makes your legs look so long. I don't know how they do it when they're flat, but it just works. And then I'll probably also team it with my Lillian Bean bag. This is very like similar to the Hermes picnic bag. And I've attached another strap, which is in tan leather, but it's slightly different, slightly less sort of like warm, but I think it goes really well. Oh my goodness, this dress is so cute. It is very, very short, but because of the ruffles, it doesn't feel it. And it definitely feels like a beach dress, but the length of it with the more flat sandals definitely works for me and my hikes. It makes my legs look really long, even though they're not. I personally think that this is absolutely beautiful and I love that it's more of like a stone color. So it feels quite earthy, quite natural, and will still style up really nicely with the rest of my wardrobe. It comes in other colors as well. I think it comes in like a lilac color, but this for me is absolute perfection. It fits really nicely on the bust. It's also got really nice bows up here as well. And the double ruffle is just, it's just giving me life. I can't quite cope with it. And I think that I'm gonna wear this for the rest of the day because this actually makes me feel so nice and comfortable, which is so important to me. I don't wanna feel hot and I also don't wanna feel restricted and this is not either of those things. So it makes me very happy. Okay, I almost was not gonna show you this dress because I felt like it didn't really fit me the best. And I don't think it does, but there's something about it that I, I really love. Like it feels really structured. This bodice almost gives me wedding vibes and I love it. I've obviously cinched it in. It is kind of like an A-line dress, so I have cinched it in um, with an Hermes belt, but the fabric of this feels really nice. It's kind of like a crepe and it's got boning in it so it feels really nice it does just need like it just needed a little bit of fabric taken out of it but this is on the rare occasion i would like get something high street tailored because i think that sometimes it could just be a little bit of a waste but i would probably have this taken in and like changed slightly just so that it fits a little bit better because i actually think this looks so nice and this is more like dressy less holiday vibes but also like really smart so i'd probably style this with either the lillian bean bag or my actual birkin because it just it feels quite luxe and i love it <laughs> and i was like do i show them this because it doesn't actually fit but i just feel like it's working but let me know in the comments if you think that it is or it isn't okay i've gone slightly off piste with these ones but i saw these and i thought they look like the kind of shorts that I have been looking for for my entire life and not found. These are actually just for me to go running in, but high-waisted running shorts, no pockets, but I never put anything in my pocket when I'm running anyway. But they also look super cute as like a little sport luxe kind of cute outfit. If I was gonna go to the gym or something like that on holiday, but also genuinely, this is probably what I'm gonna run in for the next few months because they're super flattering. I can wear a sports bra because I often wear a sports bra and a tank top because I'm not really that keen on wearing a sports bra and my current shorts because they're not high-waisted enough. Now I'll feel like I'm more comfortable, if that makes sense. These are so cute and so flattering. Like, they don't hug my legs and they're nice. Got nice of, loads of room in there so they're not too tight, but they cinch in really well. I think these are so brilliant. In fact, I'm gonna buy a few more pairs of these because I think I'm gonna be wearing these a lot throughout the summer when I'm going to the gym or running. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not pairing these up with trainers because, I mean, we're just not going there, but it, they're cute. <laughs> and finally, yes, I have had my Max Mara trousers tailored, finally. They come unhemmed and I finally had them done. I took them to Seuster and Hicks and they look perfect. I've teamed them with this one shoulder top. Now I would say that it is a good idea to size up in this top because it is quite see-through and the less fabric means the more see-through it is. And the white one I couldn't actually get on. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna order a few more different sizes in this because I think it's a great little crop top for styling with linen trousers and just feeling quite streamlined as well. I'm so sorry about the birds, but 
it's very hot in the UK and it's just rained so it's it's really really noisy out there <laughs> but um, I've styled the crop top with my Max Mara trousers some Bottega mules and also a vintage Fendi baguette which I haven't actually worn for a very very long time and I just thought this was a really great monotone look that's quite chic but of course let me know which outfit was your favorite did you enjoy the styling of this and where would you wear these items like where would you go on holiday if you could wear all of this stuff so that is all of the items in this haul I hope you've enjoyed this video I would love to know where you would wear these items and which one was your favorite like piece that I showed you or favorite outfit let me know in the comments down below obviously as mentioned earlier on in the video I do have a discount code which will get you 45% off everything excluding sale and I believe it's valid until the 14th of July I think I'll pop it on screen just to be certain the code is Lydia 45 if you just enter that at checkout then you should be able to shop things even cheaper which is wonderful I love these items and you're gonna see me styling these up when I'm on holiday but other than that thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video and let me know if you enjoyed this format as well I tried to keep the rambling to a minimum and had more of me wearing the items if that makes sense let me know if it works let me know if there's anything I could do differently always welcoming your constructive feedback on these kinds of videos so thanks